Oh, what is that? Wow. Good morning and happy new year. We're gonna go ahead and start the new year off with a little unboxing. So we're gonna record this and drop this on New Year's. Hopefully you guys are having a, a wonderful day off. I would assume, I think everybody gets a day off. I know I am. Now what? That's nice. Little Christmas card from the machine shop. And then uh, what we do have in here is some prototypes of something that you're, I don't know, you might want to know about. Um, with the retirement of the Elite, we don't have any bimetals in the rotation. And we're trying to fix that. So, spoiler alert, that's what is in here. Okay. Okay. I see you. Let me see. I see you. First impressions for you. Probably. We'll throw some photos in here as well, showing off the shape and design. My first impression is that rim needs to be rounded just a hair more. Um, it's just the right size, that little catch zone in there where the concave V is for your finger. Pretty comfortable, just needs that little tiny bit of rounding. Let's go ahead and toss it. Ah, no pens. <laughs> Come on, tap you down. Oh my. Jojo. <laughs> Let me finish this video. This <laughs> is smooth. I love the weight of it. It's very good. Work, <laughs> work. Where can we put you so that we can finish this video? All I have is my first throw. So far, very, very good. Stability seems out of this world. Yeah. All right. So even on that first catch, it the rim actually didn't seem bad. Um, just when you're looking at it, it looks like could be a little bit sharp, but it's not. I still think I might adjust it just for the looks. Don't want to scare people away just from looking at it, right? Yeah, the, the stability on this is actually pretty crazy because we're at a low RPM right now and stays on plane. It's not tilting, not turning. The way you would kind of get it the way that the, the Elite would kind of twist and turn with a lower weight. This has got a few grams added on, a little bit wider. Regens beautifully. So far, I am absolutely loving this thing. Hi. 
So just as a little comparison, the cup might look similar, very similar to the Elite. I uh, kind of wanted to stay in there. Go back to the older, original type spike. It is about a millimeter wider. Um, weight, a few grams heavier. You can definitely see the differences in catch zones here, kind of uh, what we're graduating from. Definitely a lot smoother. Um, but I really just wanted something that was overall slays better. Uh, the Elite was kind of made to s kind of show off what a bimetal should be in my opinion. Uh, it's like a, it's in the 60, 60 grams and some change uh, with a heavy weight ring. Uh, this one is more of your, closer to your regular yo-yo weight, 33, 34-ish. Super powerful so far. Um, keeps that plain. Hi. See, it even holds horizontal well, and I don't even horizontal yo-yo well. Um, so that's good. That's good. Everything I've wanted it to do right now, it's doing. You're scaring me back there. You're scaring me back there. One other thing I didn't even notice it came with that we've been working on is I made an adjustment. I had these shipped to that machine shop. I've got some white G19s coming in. Um, different mix in the silicone than the clear. It's softer. They'll wear out a little bit quicker, but the binds are much snappier than the clear ones, which are a harder silicone. They last a lot longer, but you don't get that snap. Um, you might have noticed the difference between um, the hard 19 millimeter pads and the, the fat silicone, and that's the size and the the how soft the silicone is, the fat silicone, that's the stuff that I poured, sorry, um, the flowable silicone. So on flowable and these white G19s, you do get a better bind because it's a softer silicone. Hi, buddy. Well, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. We are super happy with this, actually. I was kind of worried from the drawing um, about two things, but both seem to be good um, in the long run Why, once it's machined. You never actually know until you get it in your hand. Um, so 2019 is going to be good. doesn't have a name yet, but we will have a buy metal for you. Um, <laughs> thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. We got a film. We're doing an unboxing. Do you want to help? Here. What's in here? What's in there? Ooh. Good job. Keep going. Good job. Keep going. Oh, thank you. Oh, what is that? Wow. Is that cool? What do you think about it? What's your first impression? <laughs> You like it? No, I can't have that one too. Alright, I'm gonna go test it out, okay? Can I put you down? <laughs>